today, folks driving this stretch of Palm Coast Parkway from Brushwood to US-1 will be seeing the road under a new light as the city of Palm Coast, together with Florida Power and Light, have led, that's LED, the way to a brighter future, a future filled with increased lighting efficiency and lowered operating costs. Installation here today is part of FPL's LED lighting pilot project, LED being light emitting diode technology at a handful of locations across Florida. Here in Palm Coast on Palm Coast Parkway, we're installing 26 LED lights in street lights and we will monitor and, uh, and evaluate them over the course of uh, a year or two uh, so that we can test the long-term uh, efficiency of the lights. Palm Coast is uh, one of only three locations for testing like this uh, across, across Florida. Uh, in fact, is the first location where we are testing uh, LED technology and street lights. And we really appreciate the cooperation of local officials in helping us identify what is this uh, ideal location. The purpose of the program is to evaluate the cost and efficiency of LED technology, which has really evolved uh, substantially in the last few years. Here you can see a side-by-side -side example of the two technologies. The existing technology, which is a high-pressure sodium vapor, versus the, uh, the LED or light-emitting diode technology. The projected benefits of LED are, are really threefold. Number one is efficiency, in that it could lead to possible cost reductions. Uh, secondly, there is the, uh, the safety factor. Uh, LED lights uh, emit a, a cleaner, brighter, and frankly, a better light. It's, it's a whiter light as opposed to the amber glow that you will see from the traditional sodium vapor technology, which is commonly used today. And thirdly, there's the environmental factor in that LED technology does not use any lead or mercury. The cost of LED technology is still several times uh, higher than uh, the existing sodium vapor. We can purchase the sodium vapor technology for approximately $50 to $150 versus the LED lights, which can run between $500 and $1,000. Conversely, there's the longevity factor. The lights on an LED light can last 12 to 15 years, as opposed to maybe a year and a half, two years for the sodium vapor. So it really, it really becomes a balancing act of cost versus longevity. Well, we're happy to conduct this pilot here locally in Palm Coast at no cost to the local municipality. How exactly is it going to work? These street lights during the pilot program will be taken off of the city's required maintenance and electric? More than 3,000 street lights that we have, the city pays an energy and maintenance charge. Uh, for this pilot project, they're actually going to take these 25 lights off of, uh, off of the grid so that we can actually get a true study of the cost and they can determine what our new energy and maintenance costs would be. So that way at the end of the project we can tell if it's going to be a cost savings or if it's actually going to be more expensive.